on an 11? Uh, we just got here and not had enough time yet to have a look at the wicket, prop the wicket properly and this, decide what we want to do. Um, as he said now towards the end there, we've also been at, at Wacker the last couple of days, um, so we haven't had a look to see exactly what we want to do. So at the end of practice, I'm hoping to have a good idea what we want to do. Yeah, I think so. I mean, obviously we've got two really good spinners, um, but we've also got a really nice seam attack. So it's trying to balance out what we want to try and do according to what the conditions is, uh, is giving us here tomorrow. No, I think Australia, whenever you get a chance to play against Australia, it feels like you're playing uh, against a very good cricket team. And even when you look at um, what they've got in their squad at the moment on paper, they were, there are some fantastic names there with the ball and with the bat. So um, the results, as you say, hasn't been as good as they would have liked. Um, but from our point of view, it's really important that we look at Australia as, uh, as the team that they are and know that when there's a clash between South Africa and Australia, it's always a tough one. You know, they've, they've obviously lost two, two big players. Um, and, I, and I've said this many times, you know, if you take any international side and you take two of the best um, bat batters out of the, the top six, then, then it should be an adjustment. You know, it's not always a case of just coming in and, and dominating at international cricket. You know, there's experienced players for a reason and they've done it for a long time. Um, so any team, whether it's batting or bowling, I mean, we've lost two bowlers uh, in certain stages of our bowling lineup, and then it feels like, you know, all of a sudden you're struggling to get wickets. Um, so, yeah, it's difficult to replace two big players that they've lost. Um, but the, the opportunity that they would see is that there's guys that um, will try and push their names towards that World Cup selection. So for them, it will be a nice, a nice problem to have. Uh, feels like such a long time ago, but I do remember there was a message to both. Um, I don't remember at what time, I think it was just after it happened, just um, to just generally sympathise with the two of them. Um, but not, not since then, no, that was the, the last time that we chat. Um, I'll try and remember what I said. Um, yeah, I think to Steve it was just a case of... Um, I'm feeling for you. Uh, I know it's a tough time that you're going through. No one should go through um, something like this. Um, just stay strong, uh, and you'll you'll come through this a, a, a stronger character. As I said, when I think Australia and South Africa, there will always be um, that competitive juices flowing. I, I do suspect that this series will be a little bit more. Uh, toned down, especially from the Australian side, uh, not necessarily from a body language point of view, but maybe just from a from a verbal point of view. Um, as I said before, for me it was that was just the way that I got used to playing against Australia, and that goes back all the years. You know, even when I was a youngster, looking at, at South African teams and playing against Australia, that's just there was it was a norm. Um, so I think that is maybe the one aspect that I'm expecting to change it a little bit. That there will still be the um, the good battles on the cricket field, but they'll just be a little bit less of, of the verbal stuff. Yeah, I mean, I think similar to Australia, you know, there's there, there's few things that we would like to achieve um, before uh, going to that World Cup. Few uh, questions that still need answering. Um, but the way that I look at it is the fact that you know we we do have um, quite a bit of experience, but. Uh, it's the it's the next group of players that that is quite important for World Cup. Um, one, if they potentially can put their name in the hat, but also to get more experience. You know, it's uh, we've gone to tournaments where we've in the past where we've played the same team leading up to a World Cup, um, and obviously those guys play a lot of cricket. But then you're only one injury away from 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 someone else having to play a game, and then they've got no experience. So. The good thing that that's created for us, it's, it's given us a real opportunity to to draw and blood in some youngsters, give them some good game time under the belt. So when the time comes, when they eventually get picked for the World Cup, there's at least 20 games behind the name uh, and a little bit more maturity when it comes to decision making. So yes, um, AB, Mourne, the guys that you know, even JP Hashim, that's not here. They 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 leave holes in your team. But uh, I don't look at it right now. I more look at it with the, the potential that the, the younger guys can gain experience uh, and actually better for them to play more and more games. If all those guys were here, then they possibly wouldn't have got all the games that are required for them to get experience. So 
yeah, it's it's not ideal right now, but it's it's good for where we wanted to look ahead in six months' time. Yeah, he's excited to play against Australia again. It, it's the same with him, with, you know, competitive juices, it's flowing and then it brings the best out of him. So hoping to see the exact same thing. It's it's a big rivalry for not just for him, but for, for all of us. You know, Australia is such a, a great cricket team. And, and as I said, when I got you, when you come here, the you know, there's a real feel about it that you you the away team. You know, there's a presence about the the press or, or even the the places, the stadiums that you go to. So the the rivalry is great, and I mean, obviously, you want to try and perform at that stage. So that's KG in a nutshell. He loves he loves the big stage. Yeah, I, do, I have. Um, he's he is still young, so I think you know, with with younger guys, it takes a bit longer to to eventually get there. But with KG. Um, he knows what he what he needs to be better at, um, but I think in one, I, I, you know in one day cricket I feel like there's there's almost no time um, for all the for all the other stuff. Whereas Test cricket there's more time. You know, one day cricket you're so under pressure for overrates and stuff. You're just trying to get through and get through. Um, so I think all you know all the stuff that happens off the ball is is more to do in Test cricket. One day cricket is is, a, is we as captains now are so under pressure to try and make sure we get through our overs. Um, so that's generally like you bowl the ball, you get back, you bowl the ball, you get back. So I don't think you, yeah, he's obviously learned from it, but I don't think you'll see much of that anyway.